Here we have a SAT math question. Okay, let's go with the information. A salesperson's total earning consists of a base salary of X dollars per year plus the earnings of 11% of the total sales the salesperson makes during the year. This year, the salesperson has a goal for the total earnings to be at least three times and uh, at most four times the base salary. Which of the following inequalities represents all possible values of total sales yes, in dollars the salesperson can make this year in order to meet the goal? So this year, the goal of the salesperson is a total earning has to be at least three times the base salary and uh, at most uh, the total earning uh, has to be at most four times the base salary. First, let's find the total earnings. So the total earning consists of uh, the base salary and 11 percentage uh, of the total sales. So the base salary X positive 11 percentage of uh, the sales that is S. Okay, so X positive, we can convert this 11 percentage to decimal, then we get 0 0.11. So whenever we have OF of in English, it can be done as a multiplication math. So 11 percent times S, that is 0 0.11 S. So this expression represents the total earnings of the salesperson. So the total earnings, I mean, uh, the minimum value, the total earnings has to be at least three times the base salary. So the base salary, we know that uh, the base salary is X dollars. So three times the base salary means it has to be 3X. And also let's uh, find four times the base salary. Then we have to multiply this X by four, then four X. So this total earnings X positive 0 0.11 S, uh, the minimum value of this one has to be three X. And also its maximum value is four uh, X. So we have to write less than or equal to. So according to the question, the total earnings is at least three times the base salary. So uh, the total earnings is at least, that means the minimum value. And also the total earnings uh, is at most four times the base salary. That is the maximum value of the total earnings is four times the base salary, that is 4x. Okay, now we have to solve for S. Okay, so for that we have to isolate S yes, uh, in the middle. So first let's get, uh, get rid of this X over here. For that I subtract X from each term in the inequality. So when I do so, this uh, the simplification of 3x negative x will become 2x less than or equal to this positive x negative x will cancel out 0.11s less than or equal to when I simplify this one, I am getting uh, 3x. Okay, to solve for s, I have to get rid of this 0.11 multiplied by s. So for that, I divide uh, each term by 0.11. So let me do it 0.11 over here, 3x over 0.11. So uh, here 0 0.11, 0 0.11 will cancel out. So 2 over 0 0.11 times x less than or equal to s less than or equal to 3 over 0 0.11 times x. Okay, so this is the inequality uh, which represents the total sales yes in dollars. So we find this inequality in option B. So the correct answer choice for this question is option B.